Hi there. Recently, we got a question from a Tesmo customer asking, how can I figure out whether I have coverage for my features across both manual and automated test cases? I want to try and answer that question right now during this short video. What you're seeing here is uh, a view of my test case repository in Tesmo for some test cases that I've created to cover um, a hardening sprint my hypothetical dev team are working on. The relationship between my test cases and the features that they cover is indicated by the issues column. I've also set up my test cases with um, an additional automation link, which tells me whether or not the manual test cases are covered by automated tests. That relationship is indicated by the automation column, as you can hopefully see. What you can also hopefully see is the latest status column, which tells me, and there'll be no surprises here, what the latest status of my test actually is. This column is grabbing the latest status from my test automation and my manual testing results, and it's providing me with an aggregated view of my testing results. So, in effect, what you can see here is actually a, a unified view of my testing results, indicating what test cases I have, what issues those test cases cover, whether they're automated or not, and what the latest status of all of my tests actually is, i.e. whether they're passing or failing or uh, something else, if, they're, uh, if they've never been run or if they were blocked or skipped for some reason that would also be displayed here, but I've got no examples of that right now. However, what's more is now that I have this view set up inside a test mode, I can dump it to um, a PDF by simply clicking on the export to PDF button, which means that I can easily share this information with people who want it like my QA manager, for example, or the product owner, or anyone else. Um, so I guess the next question you might reasonably ask is, how do you set this up? Well, it takes a, a little bit of upfront work and configuration, but once you've done that work, I'm sure you'll agree it's worth the effort. So first up, what you need to do is enable automation linking, which you can do from the administration console um, by going to the automation area and enabling automation linking. You may also need to carry out some additional configuration steps to enable it for all or specific projects as you prefer. Once that's done, you can go back to your project um, and link manual test cases to um, automated tests by simply going into your manual test cases either individually or in bulk, um, opening up the automation linking dialog and then simply selecting which tests based on search queries you want to link to your manual tests. So you can see I've already set up a, a relationship here between uh, a couple of SQL injection automation tests that cover this specific manual test case. Once that's done and Assuming that you've already linked your manual test cases to the, the tickets 
that they're actually covering, whether that's in Jira, GitHub, GitLab or elsewhere, then you'll be able to see all of that information in your repository view. Just make sure you enable the automation and latest status columns in your repository view as I have here. So there you go. That's how you can see whether your issues are covered by both automation and manual test cases directly from inside of Tesmo. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and hit subscribe before you go. If you want to see more videos like this, tell us what you'd like to see more of in the comments. Thanks and see you in the next one.